Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to compare slopes. Now, simply put, the greater the absolute value of the slope, the steeper the line. In other words, the further the slope is from zero, the steeper the line. And you may be thinking, why does it have to be the absolute value of the slope? Why can't we just look at which slope is greater? That's a great question, and it has to do with negatives, which we will take a look at in number two. Let's jump into number one, where we have two lines, line A and line B. Now, right away, we can see that line A is steeper than line B, but let's find the slope of each of these in order to put a number on their steepness, in order to measure their steepness. Once we have the slopes, we can compare and start to think about what they mean as far as steepness. Remember, slope equals rise over run, so the vertical change over the horizontal change. Let's start by finding the slope of line A. So we need to find the rise and run between the two given points. We will work from the left point to the right, and we will start with the rise. So we need to go up one unit, two units, three units, four units in order to align with the other point. So the rise is four. And then as far as the run, we need to go over one unit to get to the other point. So the run is one. So our slope equals, and I'm using M to represent slope, the rise of four over the run of one. So four over one. And since we have a denominator of one here, we can also just write this as four. Either way will work. Now for line B, we have a rise of one unit to align with the other point. So the rise is one. And then for the run, we need to go over one unit, two units, three units. So the run is three. Slope equals the rise of one, over the run of three. So one over three, one third. Now let's talk about these slopes. Which slope has a greater absolute value? Which is further from zero? Well, the absolute value of four is four. And the absolute value of one third is one third. Four is the greater absolute value, and therefore the steeper line. Four is further from zero than one third. Now here we have two positive slopes. So really, we can just look at which slope is greater, and that's going to be the steeper line. But we want to mention absolute value here because when negatives are involved, we have to consider the absolute values of the slopes, not just which is greater. You'll see what I mean in number two. Now, just to recap here before moving on to number two, when it comes to comparing and understanding slopes, the greater the absolute value, in other words, the further from zero that the slope is, the steeper the line. The closer to zero a slope is, the less steep it's going to be. Remember, a slope of zero is a horizontal line, a flat line. So think about it. The closer to that slope of zero we are, the less and less steep a line is going to be. These are some things we can start thinking about when it comes to slope. Let's move on to number two. Taking a look at number two, we have two lines again, and both of these have a negative slope. It looks like line B is steeper than line A, but let's find these slopes and see what we are working with. Let's start with line A, and we'll start with the rise. So we need to go down one unit in order to align with the other point. So our rise is negative here. Our rise is negative one. As far as the run, we need to go over one unit, two units to get to the other point. So our run here is two, and that's a positive two since we went to the right. So the slope for line A here, well, the rise, negative one over the run, 
2. So negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 half. Let's move on to line B, and we'll start with the rise. We need to go down 1 unit, 2 units, 3 units, 4 units, 5 units. And since we went down, this is negative. So the rise is negative 5. And then the run, we need to go over one unit to get to the other point. And we went to the right, so this is positive. Our run is 1. So the slope of line B is negative 5 over 1, which since we have a denominator of 1, we can also write this as just negative 5. Again, either way will work. Now looking at these slopes, negative 1 half is actually greater than negative 5. Remember, these are negatives here, so we are comparing negative numbers. So when it comes to negative slopes, we can't just look at which is greater, and that will be the steeper line. We need to consider the absolute values. Which slope is further from 0? And that's the line that will be steeper. The absolute value of negative 1 half is 1 half. And then the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. 5 is the greater absolute value here, therefore the steeper line. And we can see that with those lines graphed. So to sum all of this up, again, the further from 0 a slope is, the steeper the line. So there you have it, there's how to compare slopes. And this helps our overall understanding of slope. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.